Dr. Sarah Newman, I'm an assistant professor of public health at Fort Lewis College. Uh, one of my favorite things that I teach students about public health is how iterative it is. And what is iterative? It means forever changing. What we're saying now about the pandemic is different than what we said in March, which is different than what we said, you know, even last week. So things are constantly changing. continue to read emails, to check on the Fort Lewis Gear Up page, um, and to continue to really pay attention to all of the messaging coming out about COVID. Currently, there are no known treatments for COVID-19. That means our best bet as a community is to prevent. And so we have three really proven, really effective ways that we can do that. Wearing a mask, distancing, and washing your hands. The first is distancing, staying away uh, from in close contact with others. Um, both inside and outside, please. Uh, mask wearing, and I know that uh, there's some confusion about masks. Masks are important for the whole community. So maybe if you've had class with me, you know that sometimes I get so excited about public health that I spew, right? Um, that's actually happening all the time. Um, whenever you're talking to anyone, um, you're actually uh, really releasing all of these droplets um, into the air. You can't usually see it um, unless you're in the front row of my class. The masks are really important to protect the other person um, from your respiratory droplets or just your, your spit that you're spewing everywhere when you're talking. Unfortunately, if you're not wearing a mask, you're not welcome on campus. Um, and then the third is hand washing. Um, we touch our faces all the time. It's really kind of gross when you start to think about it. Um, and so, uh, really t uh, washing your hands is incredibly important especially after touching your face really after touching your mask because if you think about it your mask touches your face all the time remove your mask with the ear thingies um, make sure you're washing your hands um, kind of when, whenever you're entering or exiting a building um, really wash your hands to the point where it just seems ridiculous One thing that every single Fort Lewis College community member is going to be required to do before you come back on campus is to take the Health Awareness Certification course, or the HACC as we like to call it, on campus. Uh, I developed it um, along with expertise at Fort Lewis College and other public health experts. Uh, based off of information from the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, um, as well as the Colorado Department of Public Health and the Environment. This course is going to teach you uh, not only about the behaviors we're asking you to do, but also the science behind why we're doing it. If you're a student, um, you'll need to complete the hack in order to get access to Canvas, and so you will be unable to complete your coursework without taking the hack. Um, if you're faculty or staff, you will also need to take the hack. Um, there's other ways we're looking into making that required. Everybody associated with Fort Lewis College needs to take the hack in order to understand the behaviors that we must all do to protect our community. One important thing that you'll need to do for this coming semester is to use the Fort Lewis College app in order to do symptom tracking. So every day you'll need to take your temperature um, and certify that you do not have any symptoms associated with COVID-19 um, in order for you to access campus. So what you do off campus affects everyone on campus. We, we know that you're gonna be socializing. Um, humans are social animals and it's really important to be able to connect with friends and family. Knowing that though, we'd like you to think about ways that you can reduce the risk of transmission. That means socializing outside when possible. That means not sharing food and beverages. Uh, that also means trying to maintain that distance uh, when, even, even when you're socializing. Now that's important to think about um, if you're going home to your family or if you have uh, relatives or friends or family members who may be at a higher risk, 
what you're doing in your social life will also affect them. Fort Lewis College takes the COVID-19 outbreak very seriously. It's affected many in our community and it's something we don't want to see here um, on our campus. Um, I've seen the way Fort Lewis College can come together as a community and I think this is no different. I am so excited to see you this fall.